Do what? Let's zoom in, but not out um, anymore. Hello. All right. Is it working now? I turned the Wi-Fi off and back on. It was, we should have good internet here. Hi, Jason. Tim, there were a few other people that said hi. I just, Eric. So we got Tyler with us. Okay, yeah, sorry, it froze there for a minute. Okay, um, well, I've had a long week. Uh, Tom's bus is all done, uh, except for just, what, a few minutes in the morning you're gonna put that valve on? Yeah. So, but uh, we did a little drive test in the parking lot, forwards and backwards real quick, and just jacked on the brakes and that thing stops. Yeah, it does. It, it slung you, right? I mean, it was yeah. bam. Um, heading back to Tennessee, first thing in the morning. Bright and early. Driving my bus that's leaning to the right. <laughs> it, it's pretty bad. Uh, you, you're still, yeah, it's pretty bad when you're looking at it. You should sit in it. I feel like my seat's broke. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to speed. I'm going to try and probably keep it around 60 mile an hour and hope I don't hit any of those major potholes. There's a really bad one right when you cross from Kentucky into Tennessee on 65. There's several of them in Kentucky on 65. Uh, it launched the door spring out of my truck. That's where I cracked my window on my bus. Was hitting one of those big like they it's concrete and they like paved a like maybe a 10 foot section or 15 foot section with blacktop, and now the blacktop is kind of swooped down like that. The back ones and it went my door and the spring that holds the door open fell out and hit the ground and I was like oh well I hit a bump a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Uh, I cannot really read anything because I, I can't see anything from over here with the light. Yeah. Uh, I am clean, but I got in trouble because I actually I took a shower first to clean up, and then I said I'm gonna go lay in the bathtub and just soak because I was my muscles hurt so bad lifting all those brake drums and hubs and everything. I'm like, Do you want to tell the story about the brake drum from yesterday? Oh God, <laughs> no, I don't want to tell them the story about the brake drum from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, they don't want to hear that story about the brake drum from yesterday. Trust me, you'll never get it out of their mind again. Um, but anyways, I left a big black ring in the bathtub and Kelly's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry. Oh, man. Okay, so where are we at here? Um, if there's been any questions so far, I haven't really seen them. Uh, I don't think Tyler is moving to Tennessee now. He's going to, you renewed your lease? Or are you renewing your lease here? Yeah, I got another year here. Yep, so he's going to stay here. Um, things are just too up in the air with the COVID thing. Um, it's just you know, not the right time to make a no. move. No. Well, I mean, he had the lined up where he was going to be like the main guy for Lance to work on his fleet of buses, but Lance can't operate right now. So that whole, you know, that was a kind of a steady income might not have been a lot, but it, you know, it was enough to cover all my bills and not have to worry about anything. Yeah. Um, and that's gone and that's gone at least so, for a while. So he can stay here and work and make money or go down there and maybe not make money. And we don't have the. You know the house or the, uh, anything built there yet so we got to watch what we're doing as far as living on the property and stuff like that uh so he's just right now he's getting he renewed his lease and then maybe next year we'll address that go for yeah there. he has more time to mess with stuff too um, all right let me go with glasses oh glasses they're dirty with how many pairs you have how do you not always have a clean pair handy because i'm always greasy Let's see where we're at here. I have a Monaco coach. It has an 8.3 Cummins. Where do you plug for the turbo gauge? If you're wanting to read boost, you usually tap off the uh, shelf on the left side under like where the uh, grid heater is or the intake horn. The intake horn's pretty easy to tap too. I had some pretty good potholes today at 50 miles an hour and it, I didn't feel like it bottomed out. Um, so I don't think 60 miles an hour is going to be a big difference. Somebody was just saying it's going to bottom out. Those leaf spring nuts took a six foot cheater pipe with another five foot bar shoved in it. And two or three people pushing yeah, them. They're, they're tight. But that's good. You don't want that rear end moving around. That's hard enough to get in place the first time. Somebody's saying hi from Nashville, Tennessee. What we... Going through there tomorrow. Hi from Phoenix. 
Brandon's in here. Hey, Brandon. You rode your blaster lately, Tyler? I can't even get to it if I wanted to. <laughs> it's buried in the garage. He can't play with toys like that until he fixes the truck and some other stuff. It's in the garage. I can't get my Harley out. I can't get my other truck out. All right. Uh, okay, I think I got all the questions. I went backwards there. If I missed you, I'm gonna have you, I'm going back through these now here. Uh, your windscreen need to be done because you didn't treat the chip before it cracked. Yeah, absolutely. It was just a tiny little rock chip. I didn't think nothing about it. And just from sitting out there in the sun and the heat and stuff, it, that's what cracked it. It needed to be replaced. That, that one came in the bus when I got it. So it was really, really old. It was a different color. It needed to be changed. And you've had that other windshield for how long? Years? Yeah. Yes, we do. He wants to hear. No, you don't want to hear that story. Trust me. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's not funny. I thought it was hilarious. It was not even remotely funny. <laughs> Old man problems. <laughs> Have you switched around your flag on your front porch yet, Tyler? Depends on which way you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> he views it from the house more than the street. Yeah, it's right from the way I look at it. Oh, don't get me started on this. Okay. Um... Have you gone back to Snyder? Yeah, I was that in Texas? Is that where you guys were at? Uh, no, but we actually just had a conversation about it today. If there's a vague possibility I can go back, I might, but then Sage pointed out it's gonna be 115 degrees. Yeah, Sage is gonna go with uh, Jason and somebody else maybe, or somebody else is gonna maybe help him down there, I think is what's gonna happen. Uh. I don't know when Tyler's going to get to work on his bus. As soon as I get caught up enough, I can have yeah. a day or two off to go down there. I'm supposed to be working all through this weekend, so my next day off might be next weekend. That gives Tyler a chance to build the burnout truck for Cleason cars, which they canceled for Indianapolis, right? Yeah, it's going to be next year now, so I have time to get the Cadillac running on all eight cylinders instead of five. <laughs> it's okay, it's air-cooled be fine um but yeah i've started looking for really cheap like short wheelbase v8 pickups like 500 dollars blown head gasket specials yeah don't don't take my dirty dodge <laughs> i don't think the springs are broken but we're gonna let the spring guy look at them yours or yeah you don't think those ends are broke off i don't think so I don't know what's up with Bruce Wilson. Um, he sent me a message the other day. I haven't got back to him saying that he was sorry that he hadn't got back to me, but uh, there's zero chance I'm going in this heat down to Florida right now. Plus with all the Florida is like a COVID hotbed. So yeah, depending on how you look at that. Okay. We won't talk about it then. I don't know who that is. Um, the story no you don't I really can't change to airbags from springs that that's not I had helper bags on there and the first set lasted for a long time the second set that I got were a little bit different and they were a little bigger and I think they wore through uh, up against the um, sway bar arm on there I'm oh. still surprised you still have a sway bar I know I need to cut it off What about the transmission, Tyler? It's currently in pieces across the top of my toolbox waiting for me to put it all back together. He hasn't had time to do it. And I told him not to worry about it because he had a lot going on. Transfer case is built before it's ready to go back in. As soon as I get the transmission assembled, I got to flip it around in the driveway so I can pull the rear diff apart and figure out what all is broken in there. Because it's got a ton of play in the pinion. I was hoping I had like a bunch of bad heat joints, but no. Uh, 
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, it's terrible without Kelly narrating the questions. This is so much harder. It says our voice is out of sync. Is that like that for everybody? There's not really anything we can do about that. That'd be YouTube. It's the same person that's saying it, so I don't know. Yeah, I haven't been bit by a mosquito once this year up top at the property since we installed those Spartan mosquito things. They're pretty amazing. I thought you meant in general. I was going to say, come to my house for like five minutes. Yeah, we'll hang a couple of those things up outside of your house. And... There was one in my bedroom the other night. Nice. <laughs> They're saying the voice is fine. Yeah, you might want to like reboot your or shut down the window and open it back up. That's just because Tyler doesn't talk as loud. That's why he's not. Kelly's busy doing a bunch of stuff. She's got, uh, she's doing laundry and all kinds of other things, getting ready to go back. I don't know about you. It was my bus that I was watching fall off of there when I saw it head towards the other jack up, which we did at the time though. There was another jack holding the body on the rear yeah, bulkhead. It was braced on both bulkheads either side. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Plus it's on three wheels. Yeah. And then we also threw a tire and a rim under the, um, the back of the bus too. So it wouldn't have gone anywhere much, but it still would have been a pretty sight. Um, if you, there's a whole video about how to schedule the bus grease monkey. Um, if you search for that on my channel, you'll find it that somebody's asking for my email address, but it tells you what to put in there. Um, I do not check my email only for very specific things. So there's a very specific title you need to use for that. And it really depends on where you're at. Cause I'm not really traveling much right now. And I'm definitely gonna be down for about a month cause I don't want to have the bus back out on the road until I get the new leaf springs back on it. When is it supposed to come to the shop and take out the, take a look at the old This weekend. This weekend. The dogs are our daughters, so that's her plan. Whatever she does with them. Nobody wants to re-arch leaf springs. I called a whole bunch of places and nobody wanted to do it. There's even a spring shop here in Indian. I don't know what the hell they do because when I call them and ask them about making leaf springs or if I bring, I already had them off of the bus. I'll bring them in and have you do them. And they're like, no, we don't do that. So I told you not to waste your time. Like I was gonna waste my time loading the spring until they said they'd take it. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I, I they're a spring shop and they say they do leaf springs. Yeah. But all they do is like buy pre-done for your Ford Ranger or something and like throw that. Them on. Yeah. Or make leaf uh, U bolts. Yeah, that's it was very frustrating. It's like trying to find a radiator shop nowadays is very hard too. There's one right at my house. How do we schedule Tyler? Uh I'm not taking anything on for a little while until I get caught up. But you can always reach out to my shop's Facebook page. It's the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, upcoming, uh, the book, if you join the Grease, Bus Grease Monkey Forum, a lot of that information and specs and all that stuff is on is on the Bus Grease Monkey Forum. For someone's asking for the 898 V92, the torque specs and star, whatever. Um, uh, PC has all the two-stroke torque specs on their website. Yeah, by engine. Well, we have all that on the bus grease monkey one too. So, and there's some more manual information and stuff on there too. Yeah, there's one torque specs. So that's the easiest way to pull them up. Overhaul specs. Um, A little different. Sorry. I know I'm gonna have some work to do on the property when we get there, and we gotta um, just a whole bunch of stuff to do down there. So, Tyler, how do you like cat parts? <laughs> Can't stand them. Uh, the customer went to go pick up some parts at the cat dealership this week and they pulled him aside in an office and asked him if he would tell me to take the video down. <laughs> and uh, I, I very politely said, uh, no, not until they you know, do something to make it right. I shouldn't have to be ordering bearings and installing. Why are you talking so quiet? <laughs> I can barely hear you and I'm sitting next to you. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> not until they make it right with it come down, but yeah. I'm not very happy when, if you knew how much we paid for that brand new engine, and to get two bad ones in a row, it's terrible. And like, I mean, from the start, I told them if they just send me a set of bearings and cover the labor cost of what it's gonna cost for me to install bearings for the customer, that'd be fine. So it's busgreasemonkey.com is the website for that. Yeah, 
Yeah, the place that's doing our springs, they actually have a foundry there, and they actually, I mean, they literally make them. Um, I thought we had the blueprint specs for them, because when I called before, I was told that they did have them. Hey, we're back. And that's all we got to say about that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, Your Wi-Fi decided to... Yeah, I don't maybe our, my daughter's doing too much... Uh, video gaming. She literally there. just said she was going to go stream a 45 minute vlog right before we started this. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. I don't, is there any questions about Tom's bus? That's kind of what we just, uh, or I mean, I don't know. We'll just make this a quick live here. I don't. That's great. I'd like to go to bed at some point. Uh, me too. Yeah, I can't wait to get our fiber internet. It's faster than this, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's way faster. Than so you have AT and T here, right? No, we have Comcast. Oh, I have AT and T at my house, and it's quicker for me to be on my network than to connect to Wi Fi at my house. Wi Fi is terrible. He plans on getting a real job, Tyler. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> He's a hard worker. Tell the story, Tyler. <laughs> oh, man. I was, I'm going to only tell us one time. And don't bring it up again in the future. <laughs> We're not making a t shirt or nothing. <laughs> oh, you're making a t shirt now that you said that. <laughs> so I'm sitting on my stool and I go to pick up the brake drum and I lift it up and I go to slide it on the hub. But I, I don't have, I just don't have it in me to get it all the way, but I'm still holding it. So I'd go to kind of rest it on the front edge of the stool, except my nut sack was hanging over the front edge of the stool. And I pinched it a good one. So I had to immediately get the brake drum up off my nuts. Wasn't that one of the rear brake drums too? No, it was the front one, oh. but it's still, trust me, it, you would not like it. <laughs> oh, old what? man dangly balls. I think is what the problem is there. Uh. I don't remember what I was doing, but I walked back over to see how you guys were doing and found out about that. <laughs> Why is dad crying? <laughs> oh man, it was, it was not fun. I've never done that my whole entire life. <laughs> Usually pretty protective of that stuff. <laughs> uh, I got myself with an air hose the other day. I released it and I didn't hold on to the end that had the pressure because it normally just flies away. It swung back and hit me. It was my squeaky stool too, so I squeaked at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't set a brake drum on your junk. You won't enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Tyler, you're not getting a little sister. No, he's not. I already have one. Yeah, he does have one. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> Another is what I meant. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to finish up, man. We are really worn out and tired. And I got to get ready to hit the road in the morning. Um, I got to put a clutch in a truck tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Did you post that video? Or are you going to post it? Or... I'll post it when I get the clutch back in it tomorrow. So, he's yeah, he's working on a truck today that the throwout bearing and the clutch and the flywheel and all that stuff was just trashed. I mean, the clutch disc might be okay, but yeah, the flywheel's trashed, the pressure plate's trashed, the throwout bearing's gone. Tom's bus is basically done. He's just got to go in and change one thing, like 15, 20 minutes in the morning, and it's done. Yeah, it's it was really hot inside the bus this afternoon, so I'm going to do it in the morning when I get there when it's cold. Yeah, it, you don't want to climb into a bus that's 150 degrees. Um, but, yeah, you know, we drove it back and forth, and he jacked on the brakes, and it was it was really good. Very responsive, so. Um, Oil hubs are better than grease hubs until they have a problem. Yep. But on buses, it's very hard. Any kind of tolerance. Um, uh, we went to Greece on all of, of Tom's, and they just have to be serviced a little bit more often, but he's not going to have oil on his brakes like what he had. Update on Sage's bus. It's now missing windows. 
Oh yeah, Sage came and took out a bunch of glass to go to the glass shop today to get glass reproduced. And Sage's bus is supposed to be done in like a week and a half, something like that. Is that the, Hopefully. Is that the, the, the... As long as I can keep suppliers up and get the air tanks in and stuff like that and get the drum turned in time. And then he's going to drive that back home, so... Yep. So... Oh, did he tell you what he... Were you there when he got the window out finally? No. Oh, the other side? Yeah, he's, he's yeah. like, it doesn't matter which one I need, I just need one of them. Yeah. He spent hours trying to get a window out to just give up and go to the other side. A stainless out. steel screw that is stripped out and he was trying to drill it out and having a, a heck of, you know, stainless steel does not like to cooperate with that kind of stuff. So, oh, there he is. I heard a week and a half. <laughs> he said a week and a half. <laughs> that's because that's what I heard. I, that, I, that's what, well, on Monday I was told two weeks is what I was told. So about there, hopefully. So yeah, Black Spring in Ohio is the same people that did Sage's Springs are doing mine. So anyways, okay, we're gonna finish up. Um, and then uh, I do have a couple of videos that are up on Patreon right now, the finishing up of Tom's Bus, they will be up on YouTube in a few days. And then um, the trip back should be a fun drive. Um, we'll shoot some video on that and stuff too, so. Oh, Sage is driving and watching YouTube. Nice, it's very safe. <laughs> So, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you. Um, I have lots of videos coming up, and uh, I got a few projects on my bus that I'm going to be doing once we get back down to Tennessee, and then um, hopefully there'll be a few other buses in the area there that I can end up working on, um, but we'll see how it goes. We got lots of stuff on the property. We got to get um, the building permit for the house and all that kind of stuff, excuse me, done. So there's going to be a lot going on. And then I've got some more drainage work to do on the driveway and other stuff too. So, all right, everybody. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good night.